Welcome to our feature clip introducing a virtual item for fixed assets in SAP Business One Release 9.2. Fixed assets in SAP Business One 9.2 introduces the virtual fixed assets concept. When a company purchases identical assets in large quantities, this functionality can be used to automatically create fixed asset master data records for each of the asset. Serial number enforcement has also been enabled to save time and effort. So let's have a look at a typical business scenario that uses the virtual item for fixed assets. OEC computers purchase five computers for their own use, and these will be recorded as fixed assets. To process the purchase more efficiently and easily, the accountant at OEC computers uses a template item to purchase multiple identical items in one transaction. Let's see how this example is executed in SAP Business One Release 9.2. We are now logged in to SAP Business One Release 9.2. For OEC computers to purchase five computers, we start by navigating to the Purchasing Accounts Payable module and we select Accounts Payable Invoice. We first need to select our vendor and then our appropriate posting date, which is today's date. The posting date will be used as the capitalization date. Finally, we need to select the asset to be purchased. And in this case, it's computers XYZ. We then define the quantity that we would like to purchase, which is five, and the unit price which is £850 each. Before we add the document, we're going to drill down to the asset details and to do this, we select the navigation arrow. This will open up our asset master data window. Now we can see what prerequisites we're using for this particular virtual asset. The first requirement is to have the automatic numbering defined as the default numbering series for this fixed asset. We've also checked this as a purchase item as well as a virtual item. And we have optionally enforced serial numbers for our items will be managed by serial number. We're now going to move to the fixed asset tab. And here we need to define our asset class, which is PC, our asset group, which we've defined as computers, and of course, our depreciation details, and all the data that we want to include on the template item master. We can see that this asset has no values in it. There's no APC or book value, and this is because this is just a virtual item that is being used as a template and not a physical item. Virtual assets will make processing the purchase of several identical or directly comparable assets easy, as only one asset master is required. Now let's close down the asset master. Once we have all the required data on the invoice, we simply add it to the system. Now we've added the invoice to the system, let's scroll back and drill down on the details of the invoice. In this case, we're going to have a look at the relationship map. We can see that the invoice has created a capitalization document with five assets in it. The assets have been numbered automatically and we have for each of the computers a value of 850. When we open it, under the capitalization window, we can see the five fixed assets master data have been created. Let's enter the first one by clicking on the arrow navigation. By definition, this is exactly the same as the virtual item, except that these only have purchase items checked. This is because the virtual item was used as a template to assist us in the creation of these five assets. If we move to the fixed assets tab, we can see that we already have an acquisition start date and end date, and we already have a production cost and net book value. The virtual item remains as it is. So the new virtual item feature 
makes the purchasing of multiple assets simple. This concludes our simple example of how to work with a virtual item for fixed assets in SAP Business One Release 9.2. Thank you for your time today and make sure you check out the highlights of what's new in our feature clips for SAP Business One Release 9.2.